Under the theme, Empowering Innovation and Accelerating Industrialization and Shaping Africa's Green Future, the second National E-Mobility Expo 2025 has attracted a wide range of stakeholders, all showcasing innovative products and solutions aimed at driving the e-mobility revolution in Uganda and across Africa. The State Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Honorable Nambozo Florence, toured the plant to critically witness how the manufacturing takes place. Because we are looking at the whole ecosystem where we are doing away with fumes that come from fuels that are not healthy for our, our systems. And we are going into where you don't see. When I came in, I asked the DD, do I have a notebook? He said, no. We are doing it. So we don't have littering here. So it is a good thing for us to take on a new, a new, um, a new space where there is a different language, but that has been with us already. We are only getting into reality of the same. Because when the president emphasizes sciences, it doesn't mean he's against the arts. But come and see what trend we are moving into right now. The spaces we are talking about now. It's important for people who are buying vehicles. That as we move on, this country is going E. Stop buying vehicles that are petrol driven. <laughs> eh? Reduce and move towards electric cars. Over the past few years, Uganda has made significant strides in advancing its e mobility agenda. By 2024, the country had invested over 180 million US dollars into the sector with a target of producing 10,000 electric vehicles annually. Kira Motors, a key player in Uganda's e-mobility journey, now boosts 28 local suppliers and plans to increase this number to over 60% of vehicle parts sourced locally by 2030. It is critical for everybody, all the ministries, to start purchasing products made by Kira Motors because we must give it a best demand. It is that best demand that is going to in improve the financial decisions of this company and then also attract foreign financing. Intentional. And when we talk about supply chain localization, it's not just about Kira Motors Corporation. We are also looking at the two wheelers, the three wheelers, the four wheelers, all up to the buses. Lydia Chomkama for UBC News.